वेलकम 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 लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स किड्स ऑफ ऑल एजेस यू आर लिसनिंग टू रेडियो स्पार्क द वॉइस ऑफ जयपुरिया यू टॉक द वर्ल्ड लिसन दिस इज आपकी अपनी होस्ट भव्या गुप्ता चित्रकारी एक कला होती है जिसे कागज पर सजाया जाता है आज हम उसी कला की दुनिया में विलीन होने वाले हैं वास्तव में कला सुंदरता की अभिव्यक्ति होती है और समृद्धि की परिचायक कला हमें खुद में खोने में और खुद ही को ढूंढने में दोनों में ही सहायता करती है आज हम उसी कला के ऊपर बात करने जा रहे हैं इट्स टाइम टू रोल आउट द रेड कार्पेट फॉर आर स्पेशल गेस्ट हु एज अंग बॉय बिगैन हिज परस्यू फॉर आर्ट बचपन से when he had barely started talking by embellishing the walls of his house with drawings and paintings using his father's wood polish and mother's lipsticks presently a research scholar with raja man singh toma university gwalior he has done masters in fine arts with distinction from jivaji university gwalior and bachelor's in visual arts from rabindra bharti university kolkata he also holds a diploma in visual arts from academy of fine arts kolkata his relief paintings with its subaltern expressionistic idiom carries a distinct insignia and has earned him quite an appreciation and laurels itna hi nahi balki on the path of fame he has experienced the art arena as an artist curator critic and most importantly as an astounding humanist he has worked selflessly for the safe child of Ra- krishna mission for seven long years he has inspired and curated an exhibition involving the tihar jail inmates a unique and one of its kind endeavor in india in november 2001 his paintings are in collection of all the ambassadors of the european union countries for their respective embassies and exclusively by the ambassador of the european commission Ladies and gentlemen join me in welcoming none other than Dipto Narayan Chattopadhyay ji A convivial namaste sir we are beyond grateful for your gracious presence today on the Jaipurian Rendezvous the talk show what's your day been like so far sir Thank you so much this kind of long introduction it i is making me little embarrassed because my actual identity for you people for this school is i am parents of a uh, students who is, is your friends or his father so in that way that way you all are my child okay so i feel like home so my identity should be like that anyway but thank you very much it's an absolute honor mujhe bahut bahut acha lagta hai whenever i come here and you people are uh, again and again calling me uh, this kind of uh, you people are reminding me my school days so that is a very good thing absolutely pleasure for me absolutely now i am at your disposal you can ask me and i will great to hear answer that. you please tell me great to hear that sir without further ado i would like to take this opportunity to ask you a few questions and engage in a fruitful yes, please, and encouraging vartalap with you <laughs> thank you so oh, much sir. thank you please please carry on so sir in all these years you have lived through a marvelous journey with multifarious roles would you please recount your journey as an artist see it's very difficult to say because see uh, everyone expressing through some language okay suppose uh, right now we are speaking so now i am speaking in english or hindi or uh, something like that this is a language so for me somehow my language becomes art and art is the most ancient language in this planet when people not started even speaking even for my case also the same thing happened with me that time they started drawing in caves wall uh, if you yes. recall so like this you know so this is an are uh, the most ancient language for me also when i was not even started speaking my parents said that as you yeah. said i started doing something on my uh, i mean uh, house walls wall. of the house walls of the house actually my father was a pcs officer 
so um, he was in oh. Polish, West Bengal Polish. So we used to get new bungalows because it was a transferable job. So when we get a new bungalow, my thing was all empty walls become becomes my canvas, you know, like that. So jitna bhi khali wall hua karta tha, to all becomes my canvas. So my journey started like that. And my first solo exhibition when I was six years old. Yeah. So it was uh, like Birla Academy Art and Culture, Calcutta. So uh, in that way, you can say my professional career started automatically in that young tender age, you know? Yeah. So then I did not uh, think about all these things because everybody uh, realized that this guy is little different because I used to speak very less that time, not like this, uh, this time, because the time is the most uh, wonderful thing that time is making you all the time, you know, changing. The, you, yes. changing. So that is there. So everything is like that. So suppose my journey is very difficult to explain if you uh, say that if you, if you, uh, tell me to paint, I think that will be more easier to uh, express myself. So my identity, my identity is like that, you know? Yes. So uh, it's, uh, suppose I was very comfortable to express myself. So that now I become a visual, visual practitioner or uh, you can say painter, designer, whatever it is. But design is everywhere in the, your life. Design is everywhere because the sense of design uh, is, First, you are starting with your life, in your religion, in your geographical location, in your history, everywhere. This design is exist everywhere, you know? Yes, definitely. So that was quite an impressive answer. So as you <laughs> mentioned, uh, how you've uh, went on to change the bungalows and how the walls of the house became your canvas. You had quite an eventful childhood, sir. Would you like to share your favorite childhood memory? See, favorite childhood memory, it's very, uh, see, uh, I'm telling you, being an artist, when you build your career, your aptitude, your uh, things, to rest of the people, rest of the world thinks that you are very eccentric and you are very, you are a mad kind of man. It, it happens with every scientist and every artist's life. So my life was also like that. So I was very forgetful kind of a man. So suppose very funny thing, uh, suppose uh, Calcutta, Calcutta Metro is the oldest metro in India. Calcutta yes. Metro. So metro train is coming from uh, side. So I forgot that metro will come and stop at a station where I am standing. So I was showing my hands like this, like a taxi. Okay. So it should uh, come and stop there. So, uh, and I was realizing that why rest of the people, they are standing in the platform and they are laughing, they are smiling, they are laughing. Why they are laughing? Because I forgot these things. So I was so, so this is a kind of involvement with your work. And sometimes uh, you uh, forgot that you are living in this world. Sometimes I forgot to uh, take food even. I did. Uh, to a, a biggest interior mural in Mumbai. It was in Nehru Center, World Nehru Center building. It was, it was uh, 27 feet that time. And I was in a very tender age. I was that time 16 years old, 16 years old boy. And you will be not able to believe if I say, you will say, you can think that I am exaggerating, but very honestly, I am not exaggerating at all. Seven days, I did not take any food. Seven days, uh, I did not sleep. Uh -huh. I did not take any food. I forgot to take everything. I was so engrossed, involved in my work. Mm -hmm. I made that seven days. But after seven days, yes, of course, I become very sick. And I you know, went through a lot of medication and all. Mm. But I really forgot all these things. So this is, this kind of things happened. I don't know how many examples should I give you because you will get tired to hear all this uh, stupidity and nonsense. Oh, no, so sir. I, no, did, sir. I did this and still I'm doing this. I am still doing this. Okay, still doing this. 
so and i in this world artists and scientists are entitled to do all this kind of stupidity so i am not yes. also uh, 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 yeah yes i so, get what you mean and this is this is like that but the thing is how you are getting uh, happiness because i said as i said that in this world only two type of people so forget about good people and bad people good mm. is that what is good with you that is good and bad is that what is bad with you because human being made this concept this example these things are bad and these things are good yeah so only two kind of people i believe in this world exist one is happy people one is miserable people yeah so i want to keep uh, in my uh, myself in first category but i am not always happy but i try to make myself happy that's why maybe i have chosen uh, this profession if you go through uh, i don't know yeah, of course you will, uh, you should know uh, this is called ikegai do you know ikegai no ikegai sir. the beauty ikigai, of life the there is a book of, of japan is believe that yes, yes. everyone has ikegai yes a are yes. are reason to jump out of bed each morning okay and according to the residents of japanese island this is called okinawa okinawa is a island where uh, you will uh, surprise you will be surprised to hear the approx life is more than 100 years you know oh, some yeah. people live like 120 years something like that yes yes so why they are getting so prolonged life why so lot of researcher researched and they found the reason is the happiness of their life is their work their work profile they are choosing their work profile they are going through a lot of question you know question mm. is like yes uh what you want to do what you love to do lot of people can think your age my son can think i love to sleep i love to play okay but the, you have to go through lot of questions and by questions and by question is next question is it can be your profession are you that good of that maybe wo kat jata hai you understand to yes. pehla wala kat gaya so lot the permutation and combination going through lot of permutation combination you will get an answer ye what should you what should be the path what should be the guidelines of your life you understand yes sir definitely so if you get that, so you will be very shorted you will be very transparent shorted in your mind if you get that then what will you do you will get the happiness and this happiness is the secret of the long life that yeah. prolonged life you know so and they don't go through lot of medication things and yes no, yes they don't a healthy need. lifestyle definitely yes now you can ask me your next next question yes yes sir so now you've mentioned how you took up art why you took up art as a career but what prompted you to take this as a career in the first place see the, here is a very funny answer you know the thing is i didn't think about that even the culture the environment i came from in a very modest society i'm telling you very mo- modest kind of a uh, locality i born and brought up there my father was a very honest officer so we from our childhood we went through some very modest kind of a uh, an atmosphere so sometimes what happened people used to ask me uh dipto what are you doing now these days say around 20 21 years that time so i said uh, i'm a painter i used to paint i studied in art college i'm studying in art college and I paint immediately they said okay okay what's up to theek hai okay but what are you doing so then again i tried to explain uh, i am painting oh, no 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 don't waste time like this you should think about your future so like yes, seriously <laughs> so in india still still in india professions are like you know uh, there is lot of uh, 
category categorized the profession good professions mm. first category professions are doctor engineer lawyer you know, clearing yes. upsc all bureaucrats so like that but as an artist is a is a scientist they don't encourage that much still that encouragement is not there you have to prove you have करियर चूज करे और उसमें एक नंबर बन के दिखाए तो वो है ठीक है एक नंबर बनना भी एक रिलेटेड बात है ऐसा कुछ नहीं है एक नंबर बनना बट एज आई सेड हैप्पीनेस इज देयर कैसे हैप्पीनेस मिलता है आई एम टेलिंग यू सी आई एम नॉट अपोजिंग और काउंटर एक्टिंग फॉर एनी अदर प्रोफेशन ईच एंड एवरी प्रोफेशन इज गुड and each and every profession is needed for the society maintaining society absolutely but you yes. know two categories only two categories they are contributing in this world these two categories is one is scientist and other is artist but what is the difference between art and science that we have to understand and realize the difference between art and science is artist they are going realism to abstraction in this world each and every art is abstract even hyper realistic art is also abstract if it becomes absolutely realistic then it will be it will become life then it will no more art then hmm. but science is just to reverse abstraction through realism kal jo abstract tha aaj wo that is very much realistic how suppose in mythology we have seen indradev who is flying through i mean clouds okay yes. they have some uh, aeroplane kind kind of thing called uh, pushpak roth and all okay and that pushpak roth becomes to the reality it becomes aircraft okay it becomes uh, uh, some rocket missile or something like that so that becomes reality so abstraction through realism that is science work so that is very much needed you know yeah. okay uh, sir my next question to you is uh, so that i personally feel as you mentioned that art is not taken seriously as a profession what is your take on this see sit seriousness or art art is not taken as a serious profession profession in this uh, atmosphere that mm-hmm. is okay but other way around if you see if you realize why art why science it is always advance for time okay the presence is always advance sometimes people are not able to take that advancement for the time being it will take time so you have to provide that time because you born an artist you born as a as a scientist to contribute this world if you understand your responsibility then you can ignore all these things it will not affect you and absolutely this is not problem for you even if somebody don't understand you so that is his or her problem not your problem your problem is you have to understand yourself let me explain you i should uh, give you some example although this is not uh, not history class but it will be interesting if i give you some example like this because history history always teaches us what should be the net result if you know history okay yes. so you can you can find out a path or you can decide a path you know what should be the net result if i take this path what will be the end of the day in our culture forestan culture first of all you have to need to understand our map today's map political map is always changing okay it was not like that suppose 551 bce okay mm. there was a forestan philosopher chinese philosopher called confucius yes and say around 100 years the period of confucius 
considered as confucianism mm. like 479 yes, bce he died approximately what i recall his birthday was uh, 29 september or something like that anyway what is confucianism confucianism is a an ancient chinese belief system which focuses on the importance of personal ethics and morality you understand okay. so confucianism is a philosophy so this that philosophy is you have to understand that you are not answerable to anyone apart from yourself you are answerable to yourself so end of the day you have to come and stand in front of a mirror that is an abstract mirror where you have to see your face and you have to give answer so you are answerable to yourself how i am giving you some example they used to give a big stone to their students and they are all art students the art students is through art you are making your life so that was that was an exercise how to build your life so now, and it was instructed like that See, from this big stone you have to make a small bowl okay curved bowl and that bowl also how you are making and how aesthetically you are making that is very important that was a teaching process now the mm. question is why so big stone why not a small stone if i provide you a small stone it will be very easier to yes, you yes. that you can make very quickly a small bowl but With why easy, big yes. stone why why big stone so it is a foolishness other way around and they are giving very thin equipments why thin equipments you can provide strong and thick equipment so we can make quickly the things now mm -hmm. these days everything comes with, uh, all power tools and all uh, artificial intelligence make things very easy so why yes. so the thing is why so the answer is when you are making these things you are taking so much time you are taking so much devotion dedication hard work through hard work devotion dedication a kind of involvement you are it's growing inside of your brain you know and your brain there is three kind three parts in your brain one is called in mind is subconscious mind unconscious mind and conscious mind and you will be surprised to hear 90 approximately 95% occupies your subconscious mind so these things are subconsciously you are perceiving you know you are yeah. achieving all these things so you are growing all these things subconsciously so this thing is like that so hopefully you got your answer why i have yes sir, definitely ah, good good yes so i have had come across a talk by you on the impact of jesus christ on paintings so could you please elaborate on that see jesus who is jesus jesus is a symbol you know i believe in symbolism yes. art actually multi dimensional so you can think in your way i was an aesthetic students of aesthetics according to aesthetics they say it when you are starting an art it is a completely blending with emotion and intellect okay. through emotion you are starting your art okay but only emotion cannot represent anything it will spoil over emotion always spoil your art or science so it needs some intellect also for representation so it is a representation jesus here is a symbol of love and greatness and goodness and symbol of sacrifice which is very much needed because teaching uh teaching is a a thing it's purifying your mind it will give a mind set up to so jesus buddha and all the great people they are all teacher okay the teaches us 
how to live life and what is the ultimate truth of life suppose i'm giving some example uh, my uh, elder sister she has got a very huge house very in huge ancestral house her in laws house is very big and she took a small dog very sickly dog uh, it was going to die from street and she took care of that dog and slowly slowly she fall in love and now she is having more than 30 dogs at her <laughs> home oh that's so okay. sweet sir so very funny you are saying she sweet some people can say very mad eccentric all these and she i have seen i have seen she is getting tremendous pleasure and happiness from all these dogs dogs are very loyal so mm, happiness and some people are making money day and night they are love to make money buying diamonds buying properties all these and they are sp spending sleepless night and mm -hmm. end of the day end of the day people can say that successful so called successful man or women and this lady who lived better life so it is very related who lived better life life and end of the day you can realize that maybe this lady with all these dogs lived better life and happily lived life so yes how you are putting the meaning of your life that is very important because life unless until you are putting a meaning it do not have any meaning you know yes so internal satisfaction and happiness is the ultimate goal yes, yes, that, that is that is very important that is very important internal happiness and yeah so anyway uh, there is a uh, saying uh, paradise lost if you went through john milton john milton uh the fall of a man the mind is its own place and in itself uh, can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven so mind is very important so mind how uh, you are making your mind you are getting so this transparency this clarity is very much needed so jesus i found that jesus his life his sacrifice a clarified life you know yes. in my art it has it shown the the, the clarity the call the, that is the kahin na kahin pe ek call hai you know jo yeah. insaan ko next generation ko ye call hamesha hi rahega you know yeah. so that is there okay sir thank you for the answer that was a great one sir sir uh, just sort of curiosity If you are a new addition to the color palette, what color would you be? See, the thing is color. What is color? Uh, if you ask me this question, you need to understand what is color in physics. In physics, color is associated specifically with electromagnetic radiation of a certain range of wavelengths. Okay, yeah. which is visible to human eye. Hmm. This. visible range yes but but color they have lot of different different kind of explanations maybe mm -hmm. aesthetical explanations maybe scientific explanation maybe chemical explanation maybe biological explanation maybe visual explanation so lot of different different kind of explanation i am saying you the simplest uh, explanation of color that is whatever we can see all are color you know mm -hmm. color is a very vast chap uh, things uh, that uh, i'm not going in depth of color but what is color color is that and each and every color has some philosophical aspect it has got some demand color has got temperature you know warm yeah. temperature warm and color. cool temperature even now uh, the time of winter you know if you uh you are sur surrounded by dark uh, curtain and dark color Great. combination things yes. you will feel cozy and 
and if you surrounded by light color you will you will feel feel very even even thand jyada lagega aapko to this is there color ka bahut sare ye hai mujhe aisa kuch nahi hai mere liye color is something different you know color is color demand itself and what you are saying the hue hue is h u e hue yeah. hue is, is specification of color 1666 sir isaac newton may uh, a great test he completed a test called color spectrum in a disk called color wheel in your right hand side the half portion is called warm color and half portion spectrum all color yeah. if you mix it will becomes white but the thing is if you go in depth of color you will get to understand white and black these two color does not exist in this world absolute white does not exist absolute yeah. black does not exist in this world so white is what white is maximum light and black is minimum so called maximum depth the maximum depth if it becomes absolute black then everything will be vanished that is the black hole concept you know that's it so yes. nothing will exist there to so my for for me color automatically comes according to subject why i am saying so lengthy answer because you need to understand these things for an artist color is not so important in that way which color he is using color absolutely you know color palette color palette what is color palette color palette is generally we think that where artist uh, mix color that is color palette but yes. in our sense color palette is inside of your brain inside of your brain your vision Maybe imagination you are wearing a crimson red crimson red uh, jacket okay that is your school dress crimson red jacket this crimson red can appear some people's eyes as vermilion red as cerulean red okay as some other red so this it depends on light actually color is a specification of light and for me for my art for my designing for my sense of designing visual sense is saying what demand is there okay the demand comes suppose you are uh, sitting in a, in a dining room your all colors are red or yellow or purple red you are not feeling that much you don't feel that much appetite okay maybe yellow you are getting excited to have food maybe purple your appetite is better so these are all color therapy is also a very big subject uh, very ancient uh, egyptian science there because these are yes. all specification of lights and only not eyes we perceive color color hum log khali aankhon se nahi dekhte color through skin also we perceive you know through skin yes, yes. so that is also very important yes So, so my fellow artist friends would be eager to know what are some specific roadblocks to watch out for in this industry Actually can you ask once again your question because it has actually not coming sound clearly Ah uh, yes yes sure sir uh, please So my fellow artist friends would be eager to mm-hmm. know what are some specific roadblocks to watch out for in this industry road blocks of uh, this industry it's a it's a it's this subject is uh, you know this industry you need to understand lot of things this thing this color symbolism it's a very ancient thing yes it is 90000 years old this things called color symbolism yes so definitely when even when uh, human human uh, civilization was not there this color symbolism was there it, this color symbolism also also you can see aap log dikhai deta hai animal mein bhi animal mein bhi this mm. thing is visible you know color symbolism but you know 
a uh, lot of animal cannot see color unique human yes. how human see colors human human sees uh, human retina as there is two things called rot and cones yeah you know rot and cones uh, rot and cones uh, the two types of uh, photoreceptors in the human retina rot and cones rots are responsible for vision at low light which is uh monochromatic monochromatic vision vision okay, sir. and cones are actually responsible for highlights which uh, through uh, cones we can see the color but a lot of uh, uh, animals cannot uh, see colors but human also cannot see full spectrum yes full spectrum okay. can see uh, like a lot of insect can see honey bees can see full spectrum you know yes. so uh, this is like this color symbolism color symbolism the these uh, things he is asking basically for color symbolism what, what i can understand color symbolism mm -hmm. comes from the concept of religious concept religious color symbolism your atmosphere your live livelihood where you are standing and what is the requirement lot of things lot of permutation and combinations are there you know so uh, this comes like this so exactly uh, you cannot generalize these things if you generalize even it will be injustice to color you know yes uh, sir research in any field is a limitless and exhaustive process what okay. is the prime focus of your research in visual arts see my research now these days what i am doing research that is called scholastic naturalism scholastic naturalism is in art uh art is as i say art is always abstract yes but there is some naturalistic approach which can communicate your viewers easily this naturalistic approach this realistic approach so called realistic approach so my uh, research subject was why this kind of naturalistic approach in art why it is needed and how much effective for your viewers because it's a communication if you don't know chinese language if you see go and see a chinese movie will you be able to 100% enjoy that movie no sir absolutely no so like this you need to understand the language so i am trying to uh, understanding uh, there is lot of uh, i mean things as you said sky is the limit for any research sky is the limit if you go in depth sky is the limit limitless yes but uh, simultaneously you have to think that lifetime is only one so how you are exploiting or using your life that is more imp important because uh, some people enjoy Uh, food some people enjoy sleeping some people enjoy making draw scribbling drawing some people enjoy singing so it is up to uh, you but for me a subject i want to choose i want to research where i am not getting tired whole day if even if i work 24 hours i'll be not able to get tired so that is very important if you yes if you get that subject this is called love affair you know yeah <laughs> if you uh, uh, something if you love something maybe your teacher has given some work to you ha huh? you are procrastinating this that work any aaj nahi kal karenge parso karenge but if you love that maybe you will not Sleep, able to sleep properly subah uth ke kaam karna hai that's why i said na that's why i said ikegai that's why i said ikegai that this is jump out of bed each morning uh, you will get a reason of jump out of uh, bed each morning so something like that so yes. how much how much you are getting uh, return from world uh, that is not uh, not your it doesn't out. matter no no yeah. of course it doesn't matter because see in future now your parents are taking care of you but in future you will enter in your professional life and you will earn money money is of course power through money you can uh, uh, do lot of good things but through money you can do a lot of bad things also you have to choose which you will do 
uh, I believe one thing because you people all are actually my my ch- children, so all are my child. You are my child. So uh, what I believe, I actually I was dreaming a thing from my childhood. Maybe when I was very small, uh, six seven years old, I was dreaming that I will make a I can make a very huge building where. all the people will stay in this world all the people come and stay at together so it will become a single family so then we don't need to spend money for all other things you know that Something, was so thoughtful <laughs> no this is only dream it is not realistic but the thing is suppose our 80% money we destroy for fighting okay military police or administrative things all these things to your 80% year if you make a good mind setup as i said confucianism if all we make a good mind setup mind setup means you live happily and you let live other people also happily true sir you can do then what is the need for this all these things then i think your all barrier barricade passport visa all these things all countries all barrier will wash out and this planet can be only one planet one family so something like that this is very philosophical it sounds very good i know it's not 100% practical but still uh, we can think we can uh, suppose mother teresa said i alone cannot change the world but i can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples you know so yeah. something like that to hum log sabka mind se set agar acha hoga and if all we involve like the island of okinawa so definitely we can we can think we can uh, think for a better future we can definitely get a better planet better future better Absolutely. world absolutely sir uh, sir is there any particular artist that you look up to jinse aapko inspiration milti hai bahut artist hai jinse mujhe inspiration milta hai aur mujhe inspiration milta hai sab artist se hi suppose uh, my favorite pablo picasso vincent van gogh actually mm-hmm. there is a the time period it's like a baton race and each and every time period there is all good artist like surrealism like salvador dali okay father of surrealism pablo picasso cubistic approach analytical cubism synthetic cubism or first chapter anyway i'm not going in depth of all this but lot of good artists are inspiration and art itself is an inspiration see when you are doing art so that the time in when you are involved in art that time you are not doing some other things like you are not fighting for chair okay that time you are not doing bad politics that time you ab chori nahi kar rahe hai okay you are not murder some someone to ab agar chori nahi kar rahe hai rape nahi kar rahe hai murder nahi kar rahe hai kursi ke liye nahi lad rahe hai to you are doing some good thing as i say we can think we can get a better world if you try to do something see each and every creativity every creativity involvement of every creativity is good thing i have seen adolf hitler's painting very good tremendous good work and adolf hitler tried to get chance from in art college yes and i believe other art college mein adolf hitler ko chance milta to उस हिटलर को देखने को नहीं मिलता जो दुनिया आज जिस हिटलर को देखा यू अंडरस्टैंड राजीव गांधी आई हैव सीन राजीव गांधी लिनो ड्राइंग वेरी गुड ड्राइंग ही आल्सो सेड दैट यू विल गो एंड लर्न आर्ट फ्रॉम आर्ट कॉलेज बट सम हाउ हिज एनवायरमेंट हिज पेरेंट्स आई मीन डि नॉट एग्री एंड अल्टीमेटली एंड ऑफ द डे वॉट हैपन विथ हिम ओके lot of people i have seen they are very good artist suppose world disney world disney said i don't want engineer i want imagineer 
so this imagination this creativity is very much needed my mentor was dr kalam uh, i don't yes. know whether you know or not dr apj kalam uh, abdul kalam our yes. former president his excellency he always emphasized this creativity creativity is very important in your life you have to be creative if you are creative then you are a good human being no doubt you are a good human being okay all creative people are good human being as i said they are not they don't fight for their chair they don't murder people they cannot murder if they murder then there is some problem there is some problem they are not artists then okay there is some misconception yes sir. so this this i believe that's great sir uh so me and my peers are very curious to know if we could turn over time what advice would you give to your 18 year old self <laughs> uh, i uh, really uh, don't want to think in this way because sometimes way because if you go back and if you start your life in that way it can be disastrous you know it can be disastrous because what you made wrong thing in your life that was also needed for that time so whatever has gone that has gone you should enjoy you should relish that things and what ever whatever and the but you should try if you try if you try and if you get success you will double your confidence and if you don't get success you will double your experience so that experience was also needed but uh, uh, this also if i go back then definitely i would prefer to uh, uh, go and admit in jaipuria school that is very learning okay my school life was uh, like i was prisoner of what i recall i studied from a very uh, sarkari school that was also very enjoyable I'm just joking but uh, i was not very good in the study so uh, that time i used to do uh, cartoon uh, on blackboard each and every teacher sab ka face maine cartoon mein kiya tha mujhe i recall that to wo blackboard mein main cartoon karte the and uh, yeah, but now uh, i think the relationship with teachers and students the cordial relationship the friendship ship the openness uh, that was missing that time you know so uh, that is very good that is very luring and very admiring indeed sir indeed uh, what would be the biggest takeaway you hope budding artist would learn from today see this is of course i always say this budding artist see they, they should learn drawing drawing is very important in your life not only artist each and every profession can you tell me a place where drawing does not exist even when you dream that time also you draw something okay you are drawing because you are making through drawing you are making a blueprint of your life when you will go go after school how what will be your higher education uh, which college you will shot out the college so drawing is very important and uh, specially i said them before you draw before you start drawing you should try this kind of thing so hand movement hand movement why this is and let me little explain you it will be clear for you when you start with some hard thing your brain will say i cannot but when you start with some easy thing easiest thing your brain will say yes i can yes suppose suppose if i say can you raise your hand you can raise your hand yes okay? sir if i say can you raise little more your hand you will yes. do like this so possibility is always there when you raise your hand like this you have not given your full effort effort but when you did this you did little more effort 
so possi possibility is always there so stage step by step you should go ahead but before you do one thing you ask yourself i really love this thing kya mai ye kaam karte karte tired ho jata hu if answer is yes please don't do that if answer is no then you please carry on that so this will be my tips to budding artist so uh, life itself is an art so all you people are budding artists it does not ma make any sense that you have to be a painter then only you are an artist or, or you will be a dancer or singer then will be you will be an artist you can do any job in this world you are an artist of course you are an artist whatever job you are doing all are art all are art you need to understand the art of living you know that's why you need some good teacher and already you people are having all best teacher in this world so that Absolutely. you are very fortunate yes undoubtedly we just have to follow our passion and live our life the way we want to exactly exactly yes sir so that brings us to an end today it was a great pleasure to listen to your wise words and learn so much from it i want to extend my generous thanks to you sir for your enlightening words that inspired so many people out there your bright ideas and comforting guidance had a great positive impact hum sabhi logo par aaj hamare talk show par char chaand lagane ke liye aapka bahut 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 dhanyawad thank my you for absolutely my pleasure absolutely my pleasure i'm always happy always happy to see you people thank you so much thank, thank you, you it's so absolutely much, honor sir. for me Thank you. Thank you all for joining in for the fourth episode of Jaipurian Rendezvous. Aaj ke liye bas itna hi. Till then, stay tuned to Radio Spark, the voice of Jaipuria. Aap kahe dunya sunen. Abhi on to more to come. Stay tuned to Radio Spark, the voice of Jaipuria, where you talk and the world listens.